On November 11, 2024, the Peruvian government confirmed the purchase of 30K-808 White Tiger amphibious armored vehicles for its army. This acquisition, valued at approximately $62.9 million, is the result of a strategic partnership with South Korea's Hyundai Rotom. Notably, this is Hyundai Rotom's first export of the K-808 outside South Korea, marking its entry into the Latin American defense market. The vehicles will be managed by Fame SAC, a state-owned Peruvian entity within the defense sector, which will oversee procurement and future maintenance. This move aims to boost Peru's defense autonomy, as the vehicles will be assembled locally rather than relying on an external supply chain. The K-808 White Tiger is an 8x8-wheeled armored vehicle designed for challenging terrains and frontline operations. Its features include run-flat tires and a central tire inflation system, which allow it to cross rivers and navigate uneven ground. The vehicle's modular platform can be adapted for different missions, and it is compatible with various weapons, including 12.7mm or 30mm remote-controlled weapon stations. Peru's acquisition aligns with the country's goal of enhancing its army's capabilities, specifically for the 3rd and 6th Armored Brigades. The vehicles are part of the public investment project to improve troop transport. This move comes under the framework of a strategic defense initiative, which also includes FAME's ongoing projects, such as the delivery of a Rod 7 rifles to the Army. This purchase reflects a growing trend in Latin America toward modernizing defense forces, with countries seeking advanced military technology to address security and counterterrorism challenges. Hyundai Rotem having previously supplied its K2 tanks to Poland, is now positioning itself to expand further into the Latin American market. The K-808 is part of a broader strengthening of military ties between Peru and South Korea. In April 2024, Hyundai Heavy Industries signed a contract to build four naval vessels for the Peruvian Navy, including a 3,400-ton frigate. Additionally, Peru is negotiating with Korea Aerospace Industries for the acquisition of FAB 50 light combat aircraft. This acquisition of the K-808 armored vehicles is another significant step in modernizing Peru's military, reinforcing its defense capabilities, and enhancing its strategic partnership with South Korea.